Hi everyone, CFL Park Hopper here at Universal Orlando City Walk. And today we're gonna talk about what type of New Year's Eve events are offered at all of the Orlando theme parks. So let's get started. Okay, so here at Universal Orlando, they offer a private party here at the City Walk called Eve. And here's a flyer where you can buy tickets. It's a select ticketed event, but this is the only way that you can get onto the City Walk um, for New Year's Eve. City Walk is normally a free event a place where you can come, but you do have to pay to do this on New Year's Eve. So with your ticket, you get food, you get drinks, um, they're gonna have a dance party, all kinds of great stuff, and it's gonna be all around here at Universal City Walk, which is where we are right now. So this could be a really fun place to come on New Year's Eve, especially if you are 21 and older. If you're coming with a family to Orlando, uh, for New Year's Eve. This may not be the type of event for you, but over at the Universal Studios, which is the theme park over there, they will be open until 1 a.m. They will have fireworks at midnight and all of the rides will be open. And Islands of Adventure, the other theme park, which is behind us right over here, they will be open, I think, until 10 p.m. So if you came to Universal on New Year's Eve, you could get a park hopping ticket and go back and forth between the theme parks. And again, maybe this Eve event here at the City Walk is something that you want to do. Next, we're headed to SeaWorld to see what they offer. All right, everyone, so we have made it to SeaWorld Orlando. Check out the beautiful view of the Sea of Trees. I'm sitting here at the ice skating show. It just finished. Um, but this gives you a bird's eye view of the ice skating show, and you can see the entire park. It's gorgeous. So SeaWorld's Christmas celebration runs through December 31st. So if you want to come to SeaWorld on New Year's Eve, you can experience all the joys of the Christmas season here. Um, oh, and there's more trees lit up, but they have several Christmas shows. The park is gorgeous and they will be open until midnight with fireworks at midnight on Christmas Eve. Or I'm sorry, on New Year's Eve. <laughs> So as I was saying before that little Sea of Trees presentation, if you have not gotten your fill of Christmas, and you want to spend it on New Year's Eve here at SeaWorld, you will definitely get your fill of Christmas. Not only do they have the ice skating show, but they have a wonderful Shamu Miracles Christmas show. And they also have a wonderful nativity show called A Wondrous Night. Um, they have just decorations all over the park. It's glorious. Let's head off to Walt Disney World to see what they have to offer. All right, everyone, so we have made it here to Walt Disney World. We are standing inside the Magic Kingdom. Check out the beautiful Christmas tree and all these gorgeous decorations. So I'm gonna talk about New Year's Eve offerings here at Walt Disney World. And we're gonna start with Animal Kingdom and Hollywood Studios. We are not going to be going to those two parks because I'm just gonna talk about it briefly. Um, they don't really offer anything New Year's related per se, but both parks will be open until midnight and they will have their typical fireworks shows like um, Hollywood Studios all of Christmas season does Jingle Bell Jingle Bam and they will project that on the Grauman's Chinese Theater at about between 6.30 and 7 on New Year's Eve night. And then at midnight, they will do their typical Star Wars fireworks, which are also projected onto the Grauman's Chinese Theater. At Animal Kingdom, they will do their typical Rivers of Light showing, and they will have three shows of that, the last one being right before midnight. So they don't really offer a fireworks show, but it's, um, it's a water pageant, I guess, with fountains and fire and floats and things like that that you could see. Magic Kingdom will offer its New Year's celebration on the 30th and the 31st. And they do um, a special fireworks show for New Year's. And they will offer it two times both nights. They will offer it like around 7 p.m. and again around midnight. And you can check your Disney Experience app for the exact times. That is what they offer here at the Magic Kingdom. They also offer dance parties around the park. All the rides are open, it's a lot of fun. However, New Year's Eve is the busiest day of the year at the Magic Kingdom, so you must keep that in mind. The park would be 
full, probably around 10 a.m. and they will start phased closings of the park, depending what kind of ticket you have and all of that. So if you're not looking for an extremely crowded event, I would highly advise not to come to the Magic Kingdom on New Year's Eve. But I love coming here on New, on New Year's Eve Eve, I guess you could call it, the 30th, and seeing all of the New Year's events here at the Magic Kingdom on the 30th. So that's what I would recommend to do, come here on the 30th. And now let's head to Epcot and see what they offer. All right, everyone, our last stop here is at Epcot as we're checking out where to spend New Year's Eve here in Orlando. And um, isn't this tree just beautiful? The Epcot tree is my most favorite tree in all of the theme parks. So Epcot, I think, would be my number one choice of where to spend New Year's Eve here in Orlando because I'm headed into the World Showcase, which here at Epcot features many different countries from around the world. And each country here at Epcot will be featured on New Year's Eve at the time that that country in real life is experiencing um, midnight or 12 a.m. in their country. The country here in Epcot will celebrate. So I hope that makes sense. So Japan, whatever time it will be here in America when it's 12 a.m. in Japan, um, I'm not really sure when that will be, but Japan dr directly across the water from us will celebrate at that time. So you'd want to come to Epcot fairly early in the day and be able to walk around and experience each country celebrating the new year and ringing in the new year. And they will have dance parties all around the World Showcase at various locations. And it will just be more amazing as the night goes on, building up to midnight here in America, um, where they will ring in the new year here. And our current fireworks show is illum uh, not Illuminations anymore. Illuminations ended um, at the end of September. And right now we have an interim show called Epcot Forever. As you can see, the fireworks barges in the middle here getting ready for tonight's show. So they will do Epcot Forever and they will do it at midnight. And I think they might do it earlier in the evening as well. Again, you can check your Disney Experience app um, for the exact details on what time those fireworks will go off, but I believe they'll do maybe two renditions of it. Um, so you can have an earlier version and a later version. And I like that they do that at all the parks. You know, even Magic Kingdom does their earlier one and later one. So if you have young kids, you can experience the new year maybe a little bit earlier in the evening and still head back to your hotel or um, back to your home um, in time to get little ones to bed. So definitely some good options but um, they will have the fireworks here in the middle. They will have dance parties all around, as I said, and they will ring in the new year in each country here in the World Showcase at the time when that country will have um, New Year's for real, in real time. So you can spend a whole day here at Epcot for New Year's Eve, and I think this would be my choice of where to spend New Year's Eve, would be right here at Epcot. I think I would go to Magic Kingdom on the 30th and experience their New Year's Eve on the 30th, and then come here to Epcot on the 31st. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed all of my tips for where to spend New Year's Eve here in Orlando. There are so many great options between the Eve event, if you are above age at Universal Orlando, or all the different theme park experiences. I guess there's so many to choose from. It's hard to pick one, but if I had to pick, I think I would do the 30th at Magic Kingdom and the 31st right here at Epcot. That would be my choice. So leave us a comment down below if you do spend New Year's Eve here in Orlando and let us know what you wind up doing because I'm curious to find out. If you liked today's video, hit like and subscribe down below to see more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can be notified each time we upload a new video. Thanks for watching.